The island of Jamaica lies less than 20 degrees north of the equator in the Caribbean Sea. The island receives an average of 76 inches of rain per year, and in most areas the temperatures are constantly between 77 and 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Located in the southwestern portion of the island, gentle trade winds and farms are the norm in the parish of St. Elizabeth. I went to St. Elizabeth to learn about a plant called moringa from a 72-year-old man named Earl Harriet. After spending 60 years working in some of the most prestigious agricultural jobs in Jamaica, Harriet told me his life did not begin until he started farming and selling organic herbal remedies at age 65. When I went into Moringa, I did not believe in Moringa because the testimonies and the things that people said about Moringa look too good to be true. So as a matter of fact, I went into it to prove some of them wrong. Moringa, when compared to other foods, gram for gram, has seven times the vitamin C of oranges, four times the vitamin A of carrots, four times the calcium of milk, three times the potassium of bananas, two times the protein of yogurt, and three-fourths the iron of spinach. It also contains the eight essential amino acids that are not provided by our bodies, and is said to prevent over 300 diseases. My aging process has been slowed down due to the use of Moringa. This frontal view of this picture, it was taken when I was 67 years old. This is the back of my head when I took that picture. About six months after I took this picture and I started to take the Moringa, this is what the back of my hair looked like. It was all fully grown. The original color of my hair was coming back. And within a couple of weeks, my memory started to improve. I had problems driving at nights. And about four to six months after I started to take the Moringa, I started to drive as normal as I was driving before. And the previous five prescriptions that I had, all of them became too strong. At the same time, I have problems with blood pressure. Ever since I started to take the Moringa, my pressure went down from 176 and I could hold it comfortable at about 145 over 75 without taking any other product. I did not have a substantial amount of energy. Now I have a lot of energy. I start my day in the morning most times at about four o'clock and I go straight through up to about 11 o'clock at night. So these are some of the practical experiences that I have had with Moringa. So the plant is a miraculous plant. Mr. Harriet's goal is to partner with hundreds of farmers all over Jamaica in producing organic Moringa using natural fertilizers and harvesting the leaves by hand. During the trip, I was introduced to several of the farmers he is currently working with. This is Mr. Coleman. He's affectionately called by his friends in the area, Sir P. He's lived in the States for over 60 years. And in his retirement age, he wanted to come back home to get a taste of paradise. Farming was one of his great loves in the initial stages of his life. And now he gets the opportunity to live out his dreams. He has acquired this property and he has called it Jamaica Fun Farms. So one of his first endeavors since he's been back here for the past year and six months is to establish a Moringa farm. Mr. Coleman intends to produce all his crops here organically without weedicides, pesticides, or inorganic fertilizer. Where we are standing here is a compost heap. And this is where Mr. Um, Coleman has started to produce his fertilizer. Now, I started a uh, regular chemical fertilizer. One day I took the bag, I stuck my hand in it, and when I took it up, like I stuck my hand in pepper. I call a guy and tell him, get this out of here. No more herbicide. What we use here is mostly goat manure. If you pile it up a certain height, it will start the process itself. We keep this here for about uh, 60 days in this stage, and as soon as the worms start to come up, coming up, then we know that um, it is composted. Okay, that's what it is after 60 days. This is better than any kind of chemical fertilizer you could ever think about. 
because it has everything in it. We do not use any pesticides and we do not use any herbicides. We do not use any mechanical reapers. In most instances, when machines reap crops, it cannot separate out the weeds from the actual crop. And secondly, the fumes that come from the machines will pollute the crop. So, so far as we are concerned, this meets the definition of organically grown. It is just like a win-win situation for me. All I do put water on it, and at the end of the month, I pick my orange leaves. This field was harvested less than two weeks. Less than two weeks ago, this field, and then when will you harvest it again? Another three weeks. Okay. Yeah, they grow like wildfire. For farmers, one of the key benefits of growing Moringa is the tree's resiliency. The leaves can be cut down and harvested multiple times a year, and the tree will continue to thrive. You cut it, she goes back. You cut her again, she goes back. And you'll have a tree for many years. The farmers, the way they produce now, is just three months crop, and that's it. You have to start all over again. I have been selling the leaves on a regular basis, six to eight week intervals to Mr. Harriet, and it's going very well. The thing is that if we can really establish this properly, it will mean for a poor community like this in which I come from, it will mean significant economic benefits for the people because I hire them. It's a very labor intensive process and we hire them to strip off the leaves, to pack the leaves into the van to cut the branches, etc., and even to keep the fields clean and so on. So persons in the area are very happy that something is coming. Although Moringa has been used as a herbal remedy for centuries in non-Western cultures and has been used by the World Health Organization to fight third world hunger, it has been largely unknown in the West. This obscurity has proved to be a blessing in that Moringa has not been genetically modified like much of the Western food supply. Studies on Moringa leaves have found that it is the most nutrient-rich plant ever discovered. It has the highest protein ratio of any plant ever studied. It has anti-inflammatory properties. It contains high amounts of cancer-killing antioxidants, and no side effects have ever been reported from daily use. Dr. Cheryl Chong uses Moringa five times a day and uses high doses of the food to treat her terminal patients. You can't say Moringa heals X. What it does is that it so bolsters your immune system that your immune system functions. It's all about supply of a proper balance of nutrients. You need to not just get rid of the pain and the infection, but you need to bolster your immune system because that is what really heals you. And so I, I try to discourage people from just thinking of, I must eat this to make me better. No, I must get rid of what is wrong in my system to make me better. If persons have control of a Moringa tree, then they have control of their immune system. It's as powerful and as potent as that. And so this is a miracle food. We are at the home of Mr. Danny Francis. He's a grower of Moringa. He's a user of Moringa. And he's also a distributor of Moringa products. I can reference one of the people that has had significant results by using Moringa capsules over the past two or three years. This lady was a lady that was diagnosed with severe colon cancer and she took all different types of medication for it and she was not getting any successful results until Mr. Francis introduced her to the Moringa products. She got some capsules mm -hmm. and she began to take them. Right, right, right. A few months later she called me to say that um, I would be pleased to know that she is been cleared of colon cancer. We have a family history of a genetic disease called polycystic kidney disease. Others in the family are on dialysis. My mother, not knowing she had this disease, she succumbed. I started using it myself. Use Moringa like as part of my vegetable salad. Every time that I go to do my tests and so on, I don't know, but 
my results have been very good. Well, my pressure was up, you know, like way up there. And I started using the merengue and it right back down like a teenager. Total reversal from triple cancer, diabetes, all the cardiovascular issues, all the autoimmune issues. I've had reversal of multiple sclerosis. I've had reversal of all the digestive ones like Crohn's disease and all of those. All the autoimmune diseases, all the blood diseases as well. Things like sickle cell, leukemia, all of those. And I have found that the Moringa is the most complete food. I can use it for almost substitution of all the different medications that will be given to these persons. My name is Georgia Tamaris Ingram. I'm a owner and CEO of Pilates Central and Wellness. I use it daily as a tea. Um, also in my cooking, if I'm making sauces. It helps to build my immune system, so I'm better able to fight viruses. I recommend all my clients to take Moringa as a daily supplement. I tell persons that a balance of diet and exercise will give you the results that you're looking for. Also because I'm a mother of two, my schedule can be very hectic. It keeps me going. It's like a natural energy supplement. So I find that for me it's my miracle because I'm able to do a lot more than I would be able to do if I was not taking Moringa. There is now a way to receive all your necessary vitamins, antioxidants, protein, and energy from a single, completely natural source. For the first time, 100% pure Jamaican Moringa capsules are available online at www.miraclemoringadirect.com.